graduate certificate in urban librarianship? That's a great question. Uh, first of all, we know that libraries are places that uh, bring people of all walks of life together, and, and particularly in, in urban cities where people are facing um, hardships, economic hardships, people turn to libraries as places of, of refuge, as places for um, um, exploring career opportunities, and, and, and generally just um, uh, providing access to resources that they might otherwise not have. And so uh, the Graduate Certificate in Urban Librarianship really provides students with uh, uh, practical experiences and theoretical knowledge of understanding um, urban communities, the citizens who comprise urban communities, and really understanding how to effectively serve their information and, and cultural needs. What makes this certificate unique? Well, one of the things that makes it unique is that it's campus-based. We've seen an interest of students wanting to take face-to-face -face classes, given that they have the option to take a completely online uh, master's degree with us. Um, but those students who are interested in, in, in campus-based experiences, this certificate allows them an opportunity to, to um, gain some of that practical hands-on experience. And uh, the instructors who are teaching the urban library classes have worked hard to develop some activities and utilize the resources here in the Detroit area to really give students some uh, practical experiences uh, to explore all of the issues related to urban librarianship. So uh, one of the real hallmarks to this, or signature aspects to this program is it's campus-based um, and it takes advantage of all the resources here in Detroit. You talked about the Urban Certificate being unique, but what makes Detroit unique, a great place to launch this certificate? Great question. Well. Of course, our geographic location is one of our biggest assets and our proximity to the cultural institutions right here at Wayne State and the Detroit Public Library being walking distance, the Detroit Institute of Arts also uh, being in our neck of the woods. So we have a, a geographic asset to allow students to explore the cultural resources that are right here at our fingertips. Um, but we also have a unique sort of inertia around community engagement that we're seeing a real resurgence and an interest in people trying to figure out ways to solve the complex issues that are facing a city like Detroit from uh, right sizing to issues of access. So we're seeing a lot of volunteerism and so our students, those students who are interested in, in really being agents of change and the, exploring the role that libraries can play in bringing cities back and revitalizing the city, those students will really benefit from experiencing Detroit in a study of urban librarianship. If I am a potential student and I want to get involved um, in this certificate, how do I go about applying and enrolling for this program? Well, we've recently updated our website to reflect the uh, recent changes and the uh, uh, website outlines uh, all the courses that are related. There are three required courses and a practicum experience. So uh, students can apply directly through the website. There's an action button that allows students to apply directly from the website. And it contains, again, all the information related to the required courses. And uh, we're hoping students will uh, apply early. Uh, the deadline is July 1st. We're hoping though that students who are early in their program will take the opportunity to at least express interest in uh, participating in the urban librarianship through the application and also be aware that uh, with fall enrollment uh, upon us that the one of the classes in the certificate, the Urban Library Seminar, will be offered this fall to 2012 with uh, Dr. Deborah Charbonneau.